Hello and welcome to the new style Ed Excel GCSEs. These are the ones that go from grades 9 through to grade 1. This is the first paper in the higher tier. This is the non-calculator paper and we're picking up in question 3. AE, DBG and CF are parallel. So these lines here are parallel. DA equals DB equals DC. So these lines here are the same length. Angle EAB equals angle BCF equals 38 degrees. Work out the size of the angle marked X. You must show your working. Okay, so the first thing we can notice is that we've got this, um, this Z shape here. And when you've got parallel lines and a line crosses the parallel line, when you see a Z shape, you're looking at alternate angles, in this case alternate interior angles, are the same. So this is 38 degrees. So I'm just going to show you what I mean here. We've got two lines, pretend they're parallel. A line intersects them. And so if we see a Z shape here this angle here is the same as this angle here. That's what we mean by alternate interior angles. So what I'm going to do is basically make that statement because I think they're going to want to see something along those lines. Alternate angles are the same. Okay, and so we know that that angle is 38 degrees. By the same reasoning, we have another Z shape here. We know that this angle here is also 38 degrees. Now what we have here, this length here is the same as this length here, which makes this shape here an isosceles triangle. So I'm going to also type base angles on an isos isosceles triangle are the same. Okay, so we have this angle here is 38 degrees because this is an isosceles triangle and by the same reasoning this angle here is 38 degrees again because this is an isosceles triangle okay so we've got these that means we've got two out of three angles of a triangle and we know that angles the interior angles of a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees so again I'm going to write that interior angles of a triangle add to 180 degrees. Okay, so those are the three rules that we're using. So if we have this is 38 degrees and this is 38 degrees, then this angle here is 180 degrees minus 2 times 38. So again, we'll show our working. 180 minus 2 times 38 is equal to 180 minus well 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 8 is 16 so 60 plus 16 is 76 which is equal to well if we add 4 to 6 we get 80 and if we add 100 to 80 we get 180 so this is 104 degrees. So this is 104. And by the same reasoning, these two are 38 degrees, so this angle must also be 104. Which means X, because these angles all make a circle, X must be 360 minus 2 times 104. 
So x equals 360 minus 2 times 104, which is equal to 360 minus 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, so that's 208. So we have to add 2 to 208 to get 210. We have to add 50 to 210 to get 260. And we have to add 100 to 250, uh, 260 to get 360. So what we've added is a total of 152. So x equals 152 degrees. Let me write that in there. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.